Making cuts. Cross-cutting. As we know, cross-cutting is cutting across the grain of the wood. A. When making a cross-cut, usually one of the first things you would want to do is to remove the rip fence from the machine if the piece of wood is long. B. Adjust the blade to a suitable height of about 6 mm above the piece of wood you are working with. C. Ensure that the mitre gauge is properly aligned, that is, in this case, perpendicular to the blade, and tighten it properly. D. Make your mark on the wood and indicate the waste piece. E. Push the mitre gauge with the wood to see that the mark on the wood is aligned with the blade. Pull back the mitre gauge and start the machine. Hold both the wood and mitre gauge together and slowly push to the blade until the cut is made. Slightly pull away the wood from the blade and pull back the mitre gauge away from the blade. Repeat the procedure if necessary, otherwise switch off the saw until ready to make a next cut. Making cross cut using rip fence. Cross cutting with the rip fence can be very dangerous if not used properly, but can be helpful if the cuts of the same size are done repeatedly. To avoid kickbacks, where the wood being cut flies back at the operator causing serious injuries, always clamp a supporting block on the rip fence. Now we will demonstrate how ripping, cutting the timber along its grain is done. This is done with the rip fence in place on the saw table. Adjust the fence to the desired measurement relating to the width of the wood to be cut. Tighten the rip fence. Set the blade about 6 mm above the wood. Allow the well-dressed edge of the board to rest on the rip fence. With the correct standing position and not being in front of the blade, push the timber to the blade. Ensure that the fence is firmly placed and the stock runs parallel to the fence. Ripping large sheets of material. One, in this case, use a supporting or expansion table to the left side of the machine and a roller stand or a second table to support the length of the material. Two, as usual, you would adjust your rip fence to the desired measurement before turning on the machine. Three, Check the rip fence if it is tightened properly. 4. Feed the material to the saw blade with firmness. Do not try to pull back, twist, or turn the material while being cut, as it will cause kickbacks. Use of push sticks. Push sticks can be purchased, but you can make your own with ply board to guide the material in the machine for cutting. The push stick will help the operator from being cut or sustaining injuries while using the machine.